countdown to Christmas. Six days away, and we have an exclusive look at how one retailer is gearing up for the final push of orders. Jeff Locke is in Dodgeville, Wisconsin, with an exclusive interview with the CEO of Land's End, Jerome Griffith. Hey, Jeff Locke. Hey, good morning. I'll tell you, we're not at the uh, North Pole, but we're close. We're in Wisconsin. Look at this. This is Land's End. This is the stuff going out last day of free shipping. I don't know. What are they buying here? I got that one. What's that? Looks like a, uh, well, looks like a turtleneck to me, I think. They tell me I can pick these up as long as I put them back down with a scanner label. That's a scanner over there, by the way. That's how that works over here. That scans them, tells them which uh, box to drop it in. Uh, as we do that, I want to go over and talk. That, by the way, that's Jerome Griffith. He doesn't talk to anybody, by the way, and he's talking to us this morning. We're going to talk to him. But first, I want to tell you about his successes. Take a look at these numbers, uh, Dagan. Uh, when he came on, they had 10 straight quarters at this iconic American brand, Land's End, of sales losses, declines. Since he's come on board, six straight quarters of sales gains. Uh, and I'll tell you, it is just a great holiday shopping season correct? So far, so good. We uh, saw great increases in quarter three, and the trends seem to be continuing into quarter yeah, four. Where do you see this holiday season shaping up? Are you worried? Because, you know, the market right now, the stock market, giving people jitter. I don't know that necessarily what happens in the stock market is going to be the same thing that relates to business results. So I, I can't control the market, but we can control the business, and the business fundamentals are what we're concentrating on. What are you seeing on Main Street right now? Uh, traffic in our stores has been pretty good. I can't complain there. And our business on e-commerce has been good so far. Yeah. I, I want to talk about your strategy uh, and how that's going. But first, I'll tell you, look at all these packages. This, are you, like, swamped this time of the year? I mean, you got people... Uh, actually, our, our largest week is the week between Black Friday and Cyber Tuesday. So we see a lot of demand at that point in time. But retail, our retail business is actually skewed more towards the end of the quarter. So it's really early to tell yet. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, you've got a strategy. And hey, hey, go ahead, Kyle. Go up, the, go up the stairs if you can. I want to give them a big overview of what it looks like here. I want to talk about your strategy with Amazon. Sure. This is the first year you've partnered with Amazon. Yeah. Why did you do that? If you're shopping online, normally, or at least in the past, people would go to Google and do their searches. Today, more people go to Amazon and search. So if you're not on Amazon, you're not really relevant. Are you not worried that you're going to cannibalize your sales? Are, you, are they not taking sales away then? We were originally, but what we've seen is that over 50% of the customers that are buying on Amazon are new customers to Land's End. Another 27% are customers that used to shop at Land's End, but have been lapsed. They haven't been here for over a year. So we're bringing people back. So it's really about getting new customers for us. I want to take a look at the stock, too, as we have to here on the Fox Business Network. You have not been rewarded yet. You have a great career. You've been everywhere from Jay Peterman to Esprit uh, and Toomey most recently. Yes, right? yes. Uh, I mean, if you, if you look at what we're concentrating on here today, this company sort of languished over the years, and we've really been concentrating on the business fundamentals. So now we've had six straight quarters of sales increases, five straight quarters of EBITDA increases, but we don't control the market. I'm really working on the fundamentals of the business and making it a great company for the long run. Uh, Dagan, uh, Jerome has got a great story. You were at Toomey for how many years? Eight years. The uh, company was worth basically almost nothing when you took it over. Uh, my second day on the job, there was a cash call. So that was a, a real shocker. Welcome to but, town. Yeah, but uh, a few years later, we took the company public, and then Samsonite ultimately bought the company a couple of years ago. Almost for $2, $2 billion? Yeah, just about. Okay. What's going to happen here at Land's End? It's hard to see into the future, Jeff. You know the history, obviously. You know, I, I first came to Land's End, Dagan, back in the 90s. Uh, they still were a private company at that point, bought by Sears. Now, Sears obviously kind of uh, shrinking. You were in all Sears stores, not yeah. all of them. Uh, how's that affecting your business? We got spun off in 2014. So our strategy is to really open up our own stores and control our brand. We've opened up uh, several stores this past year. Right now we have 16 of our own stores. Last quarter, our comps were up 15%. You must like this economy if you're going to open stores in the midst of it. I, I love it when there's chaos and, you know, there's a lot of, of change and transformation in our business right now. What that does, it creates a lot of opportunity. If you're quick, if you're nimble, if you have a good strategy, you have lots of opportunity out there. And that's what I see for Land's End. If you like chaos, there's plenty of it here. In fact, so much that I'm going to help. Hey, look at that. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy pair of, uh, look like a pair of slippers for you, Dagan. That's, uh, those are red slippers. Not ruby slippers, but red slippers. If I put it on here the right way, it'll go to its 
intended location. I ordered slippers for somebody for Christmas and they didn't show up and that shows me I should have been shopping at Land's End. There you go. Should have been shopping at Land's End. Yes. Indeed. Jeff Locke, thank you so much and uh, many thanks to Jerome Griffith.